DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Chibu Chibu asked me, hey Daniel, do you have any idea how to create an animation like a cartoon knock a bell? Like when you hit the bell and the bell becomes three images and vibrates and then comes back into one? Yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's find a bell image and bring that down into our timeline. And let's bring that down two more times and stack it directly into tracks above our first. We pull these down so you can see them. Now decide where you want the bell ring to start and wherever that might be, put a marker right up in the timeline. Then decide where you want the ring to stop and put another marker there. Now find somewhere in the middle and let's add one more marker. Now let's start on the second track. Select this middle track. Go up to composite and set the composite to 50%. And do the same with the track above it, that third track. Set that composite opacity to 50%. Now bring your playhead back to the first marker and with that top track selected, go up to the transform option and hit that top keyframe marker to put a keyframe right down that side. Select the track below it and do the exact same thing. Now let's go to the last keyframe marker and do the same thing. Let's put a keyframe for the second track and a keyframe for the third track. Now bring your playhead over to that middle marker and let's start with this top one. What we're gonna do is grab the position X marker, left click and hold in the numbers box and pull to the right. And this is just sort of whatever you think the right amount is. I'm gonna pull it over till I can see the entire handle touching the first handle. And I'm gonna grab the rotation angle and I'm gonna put just a little bit of tilt on that. Then I'm gonna grab the track below it and do the opposite. I'm gonna left click hold on the position X and move it to the left. And then I'm gonna rotate and put just a little bit of right angle onto it. Now let's go up to our effects and let's scroll down to effects tab and let's grab an adjustment clip and put it right there on top of those tracks. Now we only need it to be as long as these markers so you can shorten it down by grabbing either end to make it as long as this marker section. Now go back up to your effects and in the search bar, search for camera shake. Make sure you have all folders ticked so you can see it. And we don't want the transition, we want the resolve FX film emulation. Bring that down, drop it into your adjustment clip. Now let's bring our playhead back to the beginning of the adjustment clip. And if you look at this so far, it's doing the right thing, but it's moving too slow. So let's adjust the camera shake by selecting the adjustment clip, going up to the effects option of the inspector. Let's crank up the pan amplitude. That's sort of the left and right motion. And let's crank up the speed. Now you'll see it goes a lot faster but we wanna start slowing down near the end. So let's do this. Let's put our playhead right in the middle and let's put a keyframe at the pan amplitude, at the speed, and let's go all the way down to global blend and put a keyframe right there in that middle marker. Now put your playhead at the end of the adjustment clip, turn the global blend down, go back up to the pan amplitude, pull that down and pull the speed down. You can grab a bell ringing sound effect and that should look something like this.